Get boring PA announcements in homeroom. It is lights, camera, action in one Long Island school. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports now on the reporters. Roll clip, take clip. A hidden gem inside a suburban middle school where each morning a unique broadcast club gathers voluntarily an hour before classes start for the day to write, edit, produce, and then report the news that matters to 12 and 13 year olds and their teachers. Students are working immediately starting at 7.30 to get all the stories together, all the graphics together, making sure all the crew is here, making sure the set is set up, the lights are up. It's a lot of fun and I love it so much. Yeah. Great Neck South Middle School has something special going. It's believed to be America's first public school with a professional TV studio circa 1952 and since then has instilled students with confidence, creativity and calmness under pressure. Can you imagine that? In the 1950s, a teacher saying we need a television program in a public school and it's a program that has lasted over 60 years. Stand by. Following two rehearsals, time to go live to all 1,000 in the school. I have to control the words for the anchors to read. This is the rundown of our show. I'm technical director. There are all these different switches to put everyone's mic on. I edit pictures, I edit text. I'm doing the still background. The intro clip and the sports clips. It's a small job, but it's really important. The principal even has a cameo each day and reminds the students of the legacy they are a part of. In the mid-70s, um, WCBS Channel 2 News came and did a story about our then fledgling television station and um, Jim Jensen who was the he's the anchor that I remember and here with the visit to another television news operation this one on Long Island and we have that footage and um, and it's so exciting to, to know that you're back 40 years later to see to see what's happened Jim Jensen interviewed several students who went on to produce and direct Hollywood films this batch though says they want my job and that's a wrap from Great Neck, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Wow. They are on their way. Seriously, just listening to their interviews, they yes. really know the concept of what's happening They're here. doing stuff we did in our 20s. Yes. In school. <laughs> they know it already. That Good for them. That is so great. By the way, they also produce a live radio show that is broadcast into homerooms before and after classes. And I love the archive video. Jim Jensen oh and company. Gosh. Very, very cool. <laughs> Takes us back. Good stuff. All right.